So somebody asked me if I could actually do a video on how I create my videos and I can do that pretty quickly, I think. So all of my videos are recorded on the Oculus Quest headset itself. I go into the Quest headset and I hit the little button that says record video in the headset as I am in it and viewing whatever I happen to be viewing at the time. Now the Quest headset by default records in 720p resolution, which is not really good resolution. I mean, it's, it's square, right? It's 720 by 720. So what I do is, and I'm gonna record this now on my phone, and then I'm going to go ahead and actually edit this video as I am going to show you how I do this. So the first thing I do is I use this application called SideQuest. This is a third party app. And the main thing about this is it lets you load games. It lets you side load, I think that's the term, side load games and apps onto your Quest that aren't actually from the Quest store. I don't use it for that. I use it for this feature up here for device settings. So what I do is I come in, in here and I change two things. One is I hit this, full rate capture. And that changes it from the default 30 frames per second to 60 slash 72 frames per second. Then I change my video capture size from the default 720, I change it to 1080. These other settings don't have to be changed. So that's the first thing I do. Now, if you reboot your Quest headset, you will lose these settings. You have to come back into SideQuest and re-enable both of these settings. I almost never reboot my headset, so, but I do occasionally, so occasionally I have to come back in here and re-click re full rate capture and capture size 1080. None of these others really seem to do anything. So I want to show how I actually enable recording. Now, this works even in the game. I use the right hand Oculus controller, and this is about the only thing I use it for other than to center my view. And I push down the Oculus button and it brings up this menu, which allows you to quit the app or resume it. The other option is to click on the social button, the sharing button, and it brings you up and you have an option up here. And you can see the videos are recorded in the headset. So again, I use the right hand button. I, I get, while I'm flying, I push down the Oculus button. I bring up this menu, I hit the record button, it brings up another window, it says re start recording. It also allows you to select a mic. And that's how I record in the headset. I've been flying, I have my video, it's all recorded. The next step is I come back into this after I'm done with Flight Sim and I click the folder icon. And now my Oculus is plugged in with the link cable for this purpose. It's so I can transfer files. That's the only reason. So I go into Oculus, I go into video shots. Now screenshots would be in this folder. As you can see, I actually have some. And then video shots are in this folder. So any videos that I've recorded are right here. Now I just did some, so what I do is I now say save and I save it to a location on my computer. I can check my task as it's downloading. You can see file saving, bing, 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 bing done okay as soon as it turns green now that's 1.3 1.4 gigs yeah, so now i'm done with side quest i don't need it anymore so side quest purpose change the capture rate and the capture resolution transfer files back and forth between the oculus quest headset and my computer now i can also upload files that way as well which makes it really nice if i want to watch something but anyhow that's a that's beside the point next i use this program right here well first let me show you if i go to my raw captures this is a file i i captured and you can see if i jump up and play this this is now 1080p i don't have to make any changes i don't have to use obs i don't have to pick left eye right eye because this is how it recorded in my headset Sometimes I have the microphone on, like in this video, and I will narrate as I'm flying. Other times I will add the narration afterwards.
Now, my battery's going to die on my phone soon, but... So, VideoPad, Video Editor is the program I use. Now, this is the free version. I don't... I haven't bought the paid version. This is free, non-commercial, home use only. All I need to do is grab my video and bring it in. And now it's here. And now I can do what I need to. I can do my editing. Like, that's all silent, I can tell. So, I would normally cut that out. I can go through here. I can add effects to the video, to the audio. I can cut out sections that I don't need. Do all my editing in this program. If I want to add something later on, I can add my narration here. And the video plays as I'm recording it, which makes it very easy to say the right thing at the right time. Uh, I'll give you a quick example, but normally I would kill the sound here before I record narration because I don't need that in the background. But I could come in here and hit record narration and, and just as I'm recording here, as I'm talking, and you can see the microphone is picking it up. And so here we are. We're at Disney. This is a Disney, Walt Disney World in... I mean, Disney World, Disneyland. It's the one in California. Anyhow, so that's how I record the narration. And now I have another narration track down here. And you can see I can leave it. I can add it. I can do whatever I want. And so now that's in there. Theme park. And Anaheim, California. And just as I'm recording here, as I'm talking, and you can see the microphone is picking it up. So that's, so that's if I add the narration. So I do all my videos in this program. I can go back and I save a lot of them. Um, I save all the projects. So not all the videos are still here, but the projects are. So I, I could try and open some of these, but chances are uh, the videos might not be there because I don't keep my raw videos very long. It takes up too much space. But that's how I edit. And then the next, oh, the next thing, last final thing I do is export the video file. And normally I will do this for uh, YouTube. I will grab the 2K. So my video is recorded in 1080p on the Oculus Quest, but I will pump it up to 2K with this, and then I will change my frame rates to 48 frames per second for the recording. And that's how I do it. And then I hit export, and I actually have one exporting right now, which is here, and that is the video that's gonna have all the samples of my flying so there you go that's how i make my videos i think that covered everything well if you got questions put them in the comments i'll answer them thanks for watching